It is now award season, and that means we're going to get nominations and nominations and nominations. But there are always the big two. The Oscars that will probably announce the nominees maybe somewhere next month for like a February, March uh, air date for the actual ceremony. And the other one is the Golden Globes, and they just announced the nominees. Now, I'm here's the thing about the Golden Globes. It is also not just over movies, it's also a TV show, award show also. But I'm just going to stick to the movies because that's what I know, that's what I'm more of, what I'm more knowledge, knowledge on. So I'm just going to stick to the movies. So any people, and here's the thing. If you have seen any of the television nominees, please comment below and say, hey, you should check this show out. It's pretty good. Or who you think is going to win. Anyway. So I'm going to start from the bottom. I'm looking at IndieWire's like live thing. I'm just going to go right down the bottom. Uh, do, 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 do. Many series, TV, 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 TV. Okay, so let's get this one out of the way. Best foreign language film. We got The Farewell, Man Was a War, Pain and Glory, Parasite, and Portrait of a Lady on Fire. It's between The Farewell, I think, and Parasite. I haven't seen any of these because it's foreign and it's pretty hard to see foreign films but what I've been hearing it is remarkable both of those movies and the one I, I'm thinking it's going to win I'll go for Parasite I'll go for Parasite um yeah I'll go there okay so best animated feature Frozen 2, The Lion King, the, the the new one, the one that, that came out mid this year, which I will say this, like the other categories are Missing Link, Toy Story 4, and How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. But Lion King, that's always, that has been a question lately. Like the moment the trade came out, I think the moment Jungle Book got, came out, the idea of does Jungle Book does Lion King where they take photo realistic looks of animals that look so realistic but they're all computed does that count as anime film and for the uh, Hollywood Foreign Press Lion King is anime film um it's weird outside of Lion King I haven't seen any of these I don't think it's going to be Frozen those things will be missed. Toy Story 4, it's Pixar, it's Toy Story 4. It could be between Toy Story 4 or Frozen 2. Toy Story 4. Okay. Um, best A Whistle Store. Motherless Brooklyn, Little Women, Joker, 1917, or Mary's Story. Mary's Story's store. Like, here's the funny thing. I did felt like... While watching the movie, I'm like, the store is pretty damn good. It might be like Toy Story, and then I checked online, and it's like, oh yeah, it's where you did who did Toy Story, who who done all the Toy Story films. So it's like, duh. But um, I believe it's going to be. Haven't listened to the only ones I have listened to is Mary Story and Joker. I will say Joker because it blends into the movie very really well. And hype as well the store of marriage story is kind of like a separate thing it's like oh yeah add some music in there um, well Joker kind of blends into it uh, best swing play marriage story parasite the two popes once upon a time in Hollywood and the Irishman um, Okay, it's going to be between, for me, Mary's Story or Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, it'll be between those two. You know what? Mary's Story. 
I'll go with Marriage Story because that strip, the concept of that movie could go really cartoony, very Hollywoodized about, like, if you haven't seen Marriage Story, it's about a, 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 a couple getting divorced and trying to be settled, uh, settled about, still want to be friends, it's like, hey, it's not working, let's, you know, for, for our child, let's be friends, let's work each other out, and things just escalate. You could easily make the cats cartoony. You could easily make everyone vilifying and all kinds of stuff. And it, they didn't. And each movie, I mean, each, and the dialogue is really well done. Definitely the argument scene, definitely the argument scene. Um, all that. So anyway, best supporting actress for musical economy. We got um, uh, Anne Bain for the report. We got Marvel Robbie for Bombshells, which hmm, let's for attention a little bit. It's always interesting with the musical comedy side of things because you're like. I don't think that counts a comedy or musical. And for Bombshell, I'm like, you know the concept of Bombshells, right? Like, it's not a funny subject. But then, anyway, we got my Wobby for Bombshells. Jennifer Lopez for Hustlers, which... Well... Uh, I, I mean, there's dancing in there. I mean, a little bit. I mean, you know, all that kind of stuff. Kathy Bates for Jules, not a musical economy, and Laura Byrne for Marriage Story, um, which is not a comedy. There's a bit of scene, but there's not a comedy in that movie, but anyway. Uh, best supporting actor for musical economy, Tom Hanks for A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, which last I checked is not a musical or a comedy. Al Pacino for The Eisman, and Joe Pesci for The Eisman. Um, which last I check, I seen the movie. Not really funny, and definitely not a musical. Um, the Irishman don't understand, but anyway. Um, Brad Pitt for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and African uh, Anthony Hawkins for The Two Popes. Oh, I forgot. I didn't do it for the best supporting actress. Um, I will go with. I haven't seen, I, I have only seen Hustlers and Marriage Story, so I will go General, uh, I'll go with J-Lo, I will go with General Lopez just because like, you could easily, once again, it's like Marriage Story, you know, it's like, oh, I'm playing Swipper, so I might just, you know, camp it up, but no, she, I mean, here's the thing, I saw the movie, it's not like a, one of the best movies of the year, but it's it's a, it's a solid film. It's not a movie that it's a movie you could easily brush away, and then you see the movie. It's like it's pretty. It's more, there's more depth towards it, um, and uh, yeah, I'll go I'll go General Lopez for Hustlers. Anyway, best supporting actor. Um, you know what? You know what? Even though I'm not the biggest fan of the Irishman, I will go with Al Pacino. Amateur, I will say, is the best performance in that movie. I will say that. Uh, best actress. Oh, uh, best actress. Uh, Dwa oh, wait, wait, hold on a second. Can I have best actor, please? Okay, Be uh, best actress for musical economy. We got Akafina for the farewell, which at last I check is a musical economy. But anyway, uh, Dandy oh, Anthony Amers. I hope I'm saying her name right. Uh, from Knives Out, which is a comedy. Uh, you know, like a movie that has a comedy in it. Um, Benny Holson, um, Booksmart, Emma Thompson, Late Night, Kane Jack. Uh, for where did you go, Bernadette? I will go with. Haven't seen any of these, but I will go up with Fina for the farewell just because everybody's just waving about that movie. Best performance uh, for best actor for musical comedy. Daniel Craig for Nice Out, which is a comedy. Uh, 
Roman D. Da Davis for Jojo Rabbit, which is a comedy. Um, Leo Caprio for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which... Is it though? Is it a musical or comedy? It's not even a musical scene in that movie, possibly. Um, <laughs> so that's a little bit iffy. Uh, Terry Eckerson for Rocket Man. Oh, it's a musical, yep. And Eddie Murphy for Dynamite is My Name, um, which is a comedy. So, you know, so like one, it's like one, like, is it though? Um, I will go with. I'll go. I go. I go. Leo. I go. Leo with Capio for Once Upon a Time Hollywood. Anyway, now we're on to best drama. We got for best actress drama. We got uh, Vanga E. Gar or butcher her name uh, for Hamlet. Um, Star Johansson for Mary Story. Um, Stuff of Woven for the Women, Silence of Woven for Bombshell, and Zazel and Zazel Wither for uh, Julie. I will go with Star Chancellor of Man Story because her damn performance. Here's the thing I haven't seen Jojo Rabbit, but here's the thing I know that between that and, and Jojo Rabbit and Man Story, it's still going to be Man Story because her performance is like great, amazingly stupid good. Um, now uh, we got best uh, best uh, blah, best actor drama. We got Christian Bale for Four Three Ferrari, Tony uh, uh, Banderas for Pain and Glory, Adam Driver for Man Story, Walking Phoenix for Joker, and uh, uh, Jonathan Paints Pain. Uh, I'm boy again butchering that guy's last name uh, for the two popes. It's between Adam Driver or Walking Phoenix. You know what? You're like, oh, of course, you, you being such a Joker fan, like, just on the couch in general. Walking Phoenix. Just... His performance... Yeah, it is his best performance of his career, just in far out. Um, best Director. For uh, just best director in general, we have uh, Bong Gu Ho for Parasite, Sam Mendes for 1917, Quentin Tino Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Marcus Scorsese for the Why the Fuck Is It Three and th Three and a Half Hours Long, uh, I mean The Iceman, and Todd Phillips for Joker. Joker. No, no, no. Joker or Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh god, um, which one will I go for? Like, who I think. <laughs> I have a feeling uh, Mark Scorsese is going to win for the Irishman. But I do want Todd Phillips to win. I do want Todd Phillips to win for Joker. Because he. Yeah, mm. I do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Going for Todd Phillips for Joker. Best, bef best motion picture. Musical economy. Now <clears throat> let's let's um, break this down. Dino, uh Dolomite is my name. Yep, musical economy. Yep, 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 yep. Uh Jojo Webb, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Musical economy. Knives out, yep, is a bit of a economy. Uh once upon a time in Hollywood. Uh, is it though? And Rocket Man. Which is a musical. I will go with. I guess it was my time in Hollywood. And Don't Lie is my name. Oh, and Walker Band. So I've seen, th I've seen three out of the five. Um. I will go with Once Upon a Time I would. But I have a feeling nice that will win. That will judge the rabbit one or two. Uh Best Motion Picture Drama nineteen seventeen The Iceman, Joker, Mary Story and The New Hope. 
You know, the Iceman's gonna win, but I do want Joker or Manistoy. Which one do I think? Manistoy is the better movie. Here's the thing: the comic book fan says, the comic book fan in me wants to say Joker, but the film fan in me wants to say Manistoy. And those are my picks. Those who what I think are going to win, and for movies, for the Golden Globes. 2020.